I think there's some very good candidates. I don't think you have to rush into it. Um, I think Justin Langer, well, one thing he knows is the weaknesses of the England side. He's just played against them. So he will know exactly where the England side need improving and can work on and seen them very close up. He also knows English cricket really well. He's played, what, Somerset and Middlesex. Yeah. He knows Strauss really well. They are good friends. Uh, and he is a top man. He's also a tough. That's what you feel for coaches at the moment. You're Chris Silverwood and you're getting criticised for being soft with the players and letting the players get away with everything. But you have bad, so you get axed because you got bad results. You're Justin Langer and you're winning games and you're winning the World Cup, World T20, and you're winning the Ashes 4-0. But you're too harsh and you're micromanaging the players too much and you get rid of for that reason. So it is a very difficult gig. But Langer would push some questions in that dressing room. He would ask some questions. He would push them a little bit, which is, I think, what they need, especially if they're going to stay with Joe Root, because Joe Root is a lovely guy, but I don't know if he's someone to grind them down, you know, in, in their faces. The other candidate who we both hugely respect is Ricky Ponting. Yeah. When I see Ricky, work with Ricky, listen to Ricky, see what he does at Delhi, and they do that in the dressing room stuff. When I've been in a commentary box with Ponting, I often leave the commentary box going... Jeez, this lad knows his cricket. <laughs> this lad is a real, real cricket brain. I think Ponting would do a lot of good things. And the respect someone like Ponting would have in any dressing room around the world. If you're taking on Ricky Ponting, you better be a pretty good cricketer to say, no, I think you got that wrong, Ricky. So Gary Kirsten would be very good. There's some good candidates out there. I'm not sure there's that many good English candidates, yep. unfortunately. And that's something that needs looking at, English coaching. Uh, but there's some pretty good candidates. Now, whether you'd have it split... You know, that's another thing Michael Atherton feels, has felt for a long time. You need to split, split the coaches.